I'm vlogging here. Shay, you're looking so spiffy today. You just live on the island, right? No, you're screaming for us, don't we? So we're here at church. Mommy hair looks nice for church. Thank you, thank you. We go to church on the island. Praise Jesus, here we go. I think that's more Jamaican. Well, I used to live in the West Indies. Yeah. You guys look, I have Koa wood sunglasses I bought yesterday. They're made out of a Hawaiian wood called Koa, 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 K-O-A. I really like them. It only grows in Hawaii. It only grows here. And they're made out of wood, real wood, koa wood. I just told you that. Okay, let's go to church. <laughs> You're beautiful. And I give you my testimony that these things are true in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I give testimony to you that as Heavenly Father has promised us, He will deliver on His promises. And He will never go back on His promise. We propose that we add to our lives only things that will stir up the Spirit of the Lord in our lives. And that we subtract, conversely, things that will detract or take away from the Holy Ghost. I promise you that if you adopt that simple model, that simple goal in your life, that great blessings will come to you and to your families and to all those that you love. I leave you this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Brother, sisters, aloha. Aloha. Uh, it's good to be with you as, as uh, I think about the, the theme of the conference today. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Oh, I did actually. I vlogged about you guys putting the note on our car. Okay, so here's the psycho creeper fans who stalked us down. And introduce yourselves. This is I'm Clayton. Clayton. <laughs> I remembered your name before you did. Oh. Introduce yourself. Bailey, I'm Bailey. Bailey? I'm Moises. Moises? No. No, I'm, no, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not you. Anyways, these guys are cool dudes and dudettes, and they uh, found our rental car and left us a note. <laughs> and then we came to church with them. It was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? It was fun. It was fun. Now you guys are going to heaven. Good job. All right, they wanted to be in the vlog, so we now totally they're in the vlog. It. We totally nailed it. You nailed it. Good job. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to shoot Shay so you can see how handsome he looks, guys. That was the request <laughs> from Shay Carl. Well, let's get back. See, I want you to be able to get it all in. <gasps> oh, I'm getting this all in, babe. I was just telling Colette how lucky of a woman she is. Yep, he was just telling me how lucky. Married someone so rugged, handsome. And humble. I mean, humility is just seeping out of your... I, mean, I basically got it all, which means you got it all, babe. <laughs> I love you. What's up, everybody? Welcome to One Take Sunday, hosted by Mr. Handsome Rugged, Shay Carl. <laughs> You're still doing today. a One Take Sunday? Yeah, but it's Sunday. I'm used to doing One Take Sunday. So. Are, is this a One Take Sunday? No, I'm not uploading Are you going to post this? No, not until Wednesday. Shay. I'm not. We're going to go down to the pool. Okay, let's go down to the pool. Come on, folks. Let's go down to the pool. Hi. Hi. You guys, bad news. Colette lost her wedding ring. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in the swimming pool. We gotta find it, you guys. Come on. Come with me. We're on a mission. We're gonna find this thing. Come on.
got it. <laughs> Last day on Kauai. You sad? <laughs> and we're gonna have lunch with not too shabby of a view, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the beach house. I just got done snorkeling. Saw some amazing fish. I got a giant gash in my knee. You're gonna miss it, man. This has been gorgeous. It's been very relaxing. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Bro Tizzle has enjoyed himself, I feel. He has his Hawaiian garb on <laughs> with his turtles. We need to stay like three weeks. I'm gonna bring the kids back. I know the kids would love this. Suntard would love snorkeling out there. He would love it. I know he would. Princess Tard would too. I don't know if Baby Tard would like it. I tried it. Colette tried it. I'm a wuss. She was terrified. I was like, you need to come out with me. But of course we have a baby, so we had to take turns, we but I was turns, terrified. We took turns, yeah, with the snorkeling gear. Yeah. I'm excited to be wearing my LA Marathon tank top. I don't know these for well. a long time. I know. I got burnt. When's your next today. marathon, babe? New York in November. New York. I gotta start running. Hello. All right, my love. Yeah. Mahalo. Aloha. 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 I love you. Mahalo. All the good things of the island. Hallelujah. I had a hallelujah time with you. Ooh, that's fun. This is a lot of fun. This is very relaxing, very enjoyable, very delicious. All the good things that you want in the world. Oh, wow. That's real mango. Mine's better. Yours is better. I'm jealous. <laughs> Dang it. Have to get one of those. Really this is virgin, so you guys know. Nope, we are getting drunk. No, we're, we're not. Getting wasted. <laughs> we are totally partying. This guy had some black You're tar partying. heroin before we woke up oh this morning. Oh my goodness. That's a little intense. Yeah. Delicious calamari, Caesar salad, and then whatever that is. But it looks delicious. It looks delicious. Well, it actually is. I had some bites, and they, it is delicious. All right, goodbye, beach house. We just had the best time snorkeling out there and then sitting on the sandy beaches. We were watching some surfers, and we just had lunch right there. It was super delicious. I was just telling Colette how great it is to be able, like, I don't know if some of you won't appreciate this, but I just want to talk about it for a minute. Um, we just spent a hundred dollars on lunch. Right. That's a lot for two people a nice restaurant. to eat lunch. I mean, it's a, a really nice restaurant right here on the beach. Like we could have thrown our calamari back in the ocean if we wanted to. <laughs> That's how close we Swim, were. <laughs> Swim away. That's what we do. We like to order calamari and then free it back it. into the wild. <laughs> Swim free. You're free. We have saved you. Oh wait, you're deep fat fried. Um, but you know, we both, I got a a pina colada and she got some mango drink and we got an appetizer and then I got a Caesar salad and then I got the fish tacos and the check came to 82 bucks and then by the time you know I gave her a pretty good tip at least 20% or was 20% so it was a hundred dollars and I was just thinking man I remember the day so clearly when we if we had spent that much on lunch it would have just been insane like I, you know, specifically, I remember the days where it's like, okay, we have $276 in our checking account. We just dropped $100 on lunch. That means we have 100 we, have we never would have. Yeah, right, we would have looked at the menu and we said, we can't eat here. Let's go and get KFC. And not that there's anything wrong with that. And I'm not saying like, we're so rich now. But I just remember those days where, you know, last time we went on to Hawaii, the last time, like four and a half years ago, we came to Hawaii, we were just starting YouTube, we were totally broke. You know, those feelings of like, okay, we have $176 in our checking account, by the time we need, you know, we fly home and we buy a few snacks, and by the time we get home, we're probably gonna have like $80 in our checking account by then, and we don't get paid for another four days. So can we live on $80 for the next four days? How many, how much groceries do we have in the pantry? You have to remember those days so we just we said a little prayer and we thanked our our Heavenly Father for the blessings that we have but I just want to let you know that if you're going through that that if you work hard and you be patient and you are smart with your money eventually you will ha you won't have to suffer through those hard times anymore and you know I just I don't know I want to like share that with you because that's what these vlogs are about it's about sharing specific life experiences and this is a very specific one and I just remember all too well you know struggling to make ends meet and still wanting to go do fun things you know while you're on vacation and it's frustrating because you're like 
you know, can't, we can't even have enjoy ourselves because we're stressing about money and we're stressed about if we're gonna have enough money to yeah. you know provide for our family until we get our next paycheck. And that trip was actually it was a we won the trip, so it was like we gotta make it. Yeah, the last <laughs> the last. So we <laughs> saved money to be able to go on the trip that we won. <laughs> I won uh, a gold gym weight loss challenge. That's the only reason we went to Hawaii last time. We couldn't afford right. to go to Hawaii, but I won a free trip. But we did, we like saved up for like three so or four we weeks food, so that we could like, yeah, like, like have that. money to, you know, just to be in Hawaii. Anyways, if you're at, if you're at that spot in life, that's just a spot. It's just a, a part in the path of the road. Keep working, keep saving, keep being diligent and you'll get past that. And now we just spent a hundred dollars on lunch and it was like, that's not bad. Like we can afford that. Like Splurged, but we're not like oh no yeah we're not freaking out about it I don't know I'm just saying that one I have amazing hair you do don't be jealous of my hair <laughs> and you got if a you work hard one. you can have hair like this one day <laughs> and I did I got a giant gash in my knee it hurts you should have filmed it when it was yeah like, it was like bleeding, bleeding everywhere. all over my face. anyways don't give up you can do it you can achieve anything I promise you man I love you guys okay that calamari was so good <laughs> we love all right you. we're gonna head back to the hotel bye Aloha. okay Shay wanted me to film him using the Jeep because he thinks he's really cool <laughs> did you think that was cool did you like it okay I got a honk that means he's going again <laughs> Crazy. So cool. <laughs> Glad she talked me into the upgrade of the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, she got you good, didn't she? I don't want to leave, babe. I don't it's so leave pretty here. Here. That sounded like a Hawaiian word. I don't want to want to leave. I want to come on, 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 Let's just move here. I want to watch that footage now. Was it cool? Tough. All right, so we checked out of our hotel. We stayed at the Grand Hyatt, you guys. If you ever come to Kauai, it is the best hotel on the island. The staff, the food, the setting where it's like located right by these cliffs, it's amazing. If you ever want to come to Hawaii, come to Kauai and stay at the Grand Hyatt. It was amazing. We loved it. Now uh, we're headed back to the airport and we just stopped at the Marriott actually to check out uh, the so settings. <sighs> I'm, I'm depressed. We what? I, don't I said it's nice, but I'm glad we stayed where we stayed. Oh, yeah. Anyways, check out these mountains. That's what I love about this place. Mountains, oceans, clouds. Who doesn't love clouds? Who doesn't love yeah. clouds? Yeah. I mean, look at these. Look at these trees and these people and the <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And, of course, here in Kauai, they have state-of-the-art weather Doppler radar system here. Uh, it's called, actually, the Coconut Weather Station. It's pretty easy to tell, and it's very up-to-minute weather reporting system prepared here by the uh, courtesy of the Marriott. Let's see. If the coconut is wet, uh, then, of course, it is raining. If the coconut is swaying, it's windy. If it's hot, it's sunny. If it's cool, it's overcast. If it's blue, it's cold. If it's shaking, there's an earthquake. And, of course, if there is no coconut, there's a hurricane. It feels wet. Must have been raining. I think it's funny because you know it's never going to be blue because it's never cold here. Well, sometimes you get blue nuts. <laughs> what? Your dad. What? You ever get blue nuts? him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just picture you're here, relaxing poolside with a nice pina colada, sunglasses on, with your swimming suit, enjoying a nice warm breeze as you watch the sunset. Beautiful luau music playing. It's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's really nice. Gorgeous waterfalls, beautiful people, delicious food. The air smells really good. Yeah. Trying to give you the uh, vicarious vacation if you're sitting behind your computer at home. You just had the uh, vicarious vacation experience. Why did the chicken cross the road? To go on vacation to Hawaii, of course, you silly goof. Didn't you know? <laughs> We're leaving. Bye. Mahalo. I love you. You're the awesomest. Yeah. Oh, Say. mahalo. Mahana. You walk <laughs> Is there a hot box in the airplane? That's scary. All 
this. We took a plane from Kauai to Honolulu and now we're flying from Honolulu to LAX. Kauai is three hours behind or ahead, or no, behind LA. So that means we're six hours ahead of New York. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, we're about to get on a six hour flight across the Pacific Ocean. I'm tired. What are you gonna do? Good night, sir. Good night. Sir, that is not a bed. <laughs> you weirdo. What? <laughs> we landed in LA. You LA baby. You excited to be back home? Go see your brothers and sisters. Yeah, he's excited. <laughs> All right, vacation's over. His cheeks are gonna get mauled in about 15 minutes. Yeah, the girls are gonna attack him. So we flew from Kauai to Honolulu to Hawanalulu to Hon. Come on, Hawanalaya. Ah, Los Angeles is what I mean. <laughs> Say. Now we gotta go home and then take the kids to school. It's 6 a.m. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're home. Vacation over. What Kauai got? Got my little boy. Got my little boy. Did you miss your little brother? <laughs> I missed him, and guess what I did on my calendar? I I missed him because he was so cute, so I did that. What'd you do? Did your tooth fall out? <laughs> Let me see. Your tooth no. still. You, I'm holding you down. We're taking <gasps> it out. Sleeping with me. Is she sleeping in your bed? Yeah. Give me a kiss. I, I missed you. I, I missed you so much. Yeah. You excited to see your baby brother? Yeah, I was at the beach the whole time. We're in Hawaii. I went swimming with fish yesterday. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You go to the beach, Dad. <laughs> Missed you guys. Missed you girls. Well, guess what? It's time to get up and get ready for school. Yeah. It's time for school. He's coming to school with me. Did you guys miss him? <laughs> he missed I you missed guys. You. Well, if I didn't say it a million times, it was gorgeous. We had an amazing time. We want to go back. We want to live there. We want to eat up Hawaii. Seriously, I just want to eat it for dinner. Nom, 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 nom. All right, so guys, here's the schedule. Monday through Fridays here on the Shaytards. Every once in a while, I might throw up a Saturday or Sunday video, just depending on how I feel. You know, we got on vacation, and I decided I really enjoy doing YouTube. It was just nice to not have to upload a vlog. So taking those two days off was nice. It'll be great to take Sundays off, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to have that pressure over your head of uploading a vlog every day, that was what was kind of grinding on me. And now that I just took a few days off, I feel a lot of relief. A lot of pressure taken away, and now it's fun again for me. It's basically the name of the game here. When I want, I'm going to upload a vlog, and most likely it's going to be Monday through Friday. If I miss a day, so what? I want the vlogs to be good, and I want them to be fun for me, and that is actually my real relaxation. I really do find a lot of relaxation here on YouTube, and I really enjoy it. All right, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, will we? Yep, we will. Babe, will we see him tomorrow? You know it. Okay, click on some videos. Love you guys.